We show in this video that exponentials exist in categories of presheaves. We assume C is a small category and C hat is the category of presheaves on C. Recall that an exponential z to the w can be constructed in a topos as a subobject of the power object of z cross w. However, in categories of presheaves, it is easier to construct exponentials and the subobject classifier than it is to construct power objects. So we will show that categories of presheaves are toposes by using the equivalent definition of a topos as a Cartesian closed category with equalizers and a subobject classifier. Two, recall that the Yoneda lemma gives us an isomorphism from the set of C figures of a presheaf X to the set of C hat morphisms from the representable on little c 2x. The isomorphism takes a C figure gamma to the natural transformation, which we also denote by gamma from underline C 2x with component C prime taking the C morphism F to the F restriction or F boundary of gamma. The inverse takes the natural transformation alpha to the evaluation of the identity on C at component C. This lemma is used to prove that the Yoneda functor y is an embedding. Recall that y takes an object C to its representable presheaf underline C and a C morphism F to the natural transformation underline F with component C double prime taking a C morphism G to FG. So underline F acts at a component by post composition. Let W and Z be C hat objects. If Z to the W exists, then for each little c in C, the set of C figures in Z to the W is naturally isomorphic to the set of C hat morphisms from underline C cross W to Z by the Yoneda lemma and the definition of exponential adjunction. So we define z to the w as the following presheaf, where y op is the Yoneda embedding of c op into the opposite category of c hat. The evaluation morphism on component little c in c takes a natural transformation alpha from underline c cross w to z and a c figure little w of w to the c figure of z alpha evaluated on identity c w at component c. To show that this assignment defines a c hat morphism, we need to show naturality. So given a c morphism f from c prime to c, we need to show the following diagram commutes. So take an element alpha w where alpha is a c hat morphism from underline c cross w to z and little w is a c figure of the container w. Then the high road takes us to the f restriction of alpha c evaluated on identity of c w and the low road takes us to alpha f cross one c prime evaluated on the identity of c prime and the f restriction of w. We need to verify that these are the same C prime figures in Z. We can use naturality of alpha to show that alpha C evaluated on the identity of C and W to show that the F restriction of alpha C evaluated on the identity of C and W is equal to alpha C prime on F and the F restriction of W. We use the definition of alpha f cross one to see that the c prime figure obtained from the low road is also alpha c prime evaluated on f and the f restriction of w. Therefore, we have naturality giving us the evaluation as a well-defined c hat morphism. We now prove that this evaluation morphism is the exponential object in c hat. To do this, we need to show it enjoys a universal mapping property of exponentials. So let G be a morphism from X cross W to Z. We define K 
from x to z to the w on component c by taking a c figure alpha of x to the c figure of z to the w given by postcomposing g on alpha cross the identity on w. It is easy to verify that this is natural. Note that we are using alpha both to denote the c figure of x as well as the c hat morphism from underline c to x given by the isomorphism in the Yoneda lemma. The context makes it clear which is which. Now we want to show that k cross 1 is the unique factorization making this diagram commute. On component c, we have the c figure alpha w of x cross w being assigned to gc alpha w. Taking the low road, we have alpha w taken to gc alpha c cross 1 evaluated on the identity of c and w. But by Yoneda, alpha c on the identity of c is the c figure alpha in x. And so this is equal to gc alpha w, showing that this diagram commutes. Then uniqueness is clear by the definition of evaluation completing the proof.